A life-saving drug that can rapidly reverse an opioid overdose will soon be available widely. The FDA approved over-the-counter sales of Narcan is what it's called. Now, according to the drug maker, and listen to these numbers, one person dies from an opioid overdose roughly every eight minutes. Wow. The CDC says more than 100,000 Americans died in the 12 months from October 2021. The FDA approval allows Narcan to be sold directly to consumers in drugstores, grocery stores, gas stations even, and even online. CBS News medical contributor Dr. Celine Gounder joins us now. She's also, by the way, editor-at-large for public health at KFF. Good morning to you, Dr. Celine. Two days in a row, I say lucky us that we get you <laughs> here at the table. This sounds like a really significant deal, is it? If you look at life expectancy rates around the world, the reason or one of the reasons the United States has a much lower life expectancy rate than comparable high income countries is drug overdoses. Mm -hmm. So when I heard the news, I thought, oh, this is great news. But then I started to think through what is it going to mean for people trying to access it? And it's really going to depend on how is this going to be priced? Mm -hmm. We're only talking about the brand name Narcan, not generic naloxone. And will insurance companies cover it? So that's going to really determine whether people are able to access it. But the fact that they're now allow allowing it to be uh, readily available says that they're very concerned about those. No I was blown away by the numbers that I just read. The numbers are startling. And so if we can make this available where people can have it in every purse, backpack, in every school, in every family first aid kit, it really could make a very big difference. I've actually only seen a, a paramedic administer Narcan, and it's amazing the effect. It's pretty rapid. Uh, but do, so regular people, though, can use this. It's simple enough to use. It's very easy. I mean, a lot of us have used those uh, nasal sprays for allergies. Oh, it's it's really just that easy to use. Yeah, but if you're using drugs, you've got to make sure that there's somebody with you that's competent enough and coherent enough to give it to you. We often advise our patients to use with a buddy. So really? your buddy is not supposed to be using at the same time as you so that they can look out for you. So that if you overdose, there's somebody there who's looking out for you with Narcan at hand or ability to call 911. I don't know why that just throws me. I think, I think it says if you're gonna use drugs, use with a buddy. I, I think know. I think it's like having somebody <laughs> designated there. Yeah, I, 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 I get it. Yeah. It's a chemical dependency I and you have to it. feed it and then there are uh -huh. withdrawals if you don't. But so I think it's, it's don't use if you can, but right. if you're yes. going to use. It, Exactly. How, how do you exactly. recognize when someone is having an overdose? Well, they might be slumped over. They might be passed out. Their pin, uh, pupils are pinpoint, really tiny. Um, they might be breathing really slowly, or their lips might even be blue, um, fingernails blue. Hmm. Okay. You said that uh, you, you first thought good, good idea, and then you started thinking about the price. We don't know the price yet, because that's important. The price is really important. If we're talking about $100 to buy a box of Narcan, that's going to be out of the range for a lot of people. And typically, over-the-counter drugs are not covered by insurance. To get access to the generic naloxone, you would still need a prescription, which could be covered by insurance, but then that defeats the purpose of it being over-the-counter and more easily accessible. And how soon will we possibly see this happen where you can get it? Yeah, the drug company is saying probably late summer that um, over-the-counter Narcan would be available. Well, it seems like this is life-changing for the Possibly. opioid crisis that we're yes. dealing with yes. here in the U.S. Yes. It really could yes. be. Dr. Slane Gounder, thank you so much.